Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Brad and I vlog on the name Investing Doc. For those of you guys that are new, I own my own practice and I like to vlog about what it's like to run your own business, plus personal finance and money for physicians. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about AI and healthcare and how I wish it would help benefit me and my practice. From a business owner standpoint, the biggest thing that I wish AI could do for me is health insurance validation, we'll call it that. What I mean by that is that when a patient checks in, they can give us their insurance information and we can tell them if we're in network and how much their copay is going to be. And sometimes with medications, it'll even tell me this is a $10 copay or a $15 copay or whatever, but it only works. I would say for the check-in process, it works like 70% of the time. And for the medication process, it only works like 10% of the time. I think to take it to that next level, it would be amazing if, when someone checked in, it worked, of course, 100% of the time, and it would be real-time updated so that if someone hit their deductible, we knew it, and that way we could tell the patient, now you already hit your deductible, you don't owe anything today, without having to spend 20 minutes on the phone to call the insurance company to say, hey, have they hit their deductible yet or not? And of course, sometimes we can get that information through our EMR, but again, it doesn't happen every single time. And you could say, well, wait a minute, Brad, wait a minute. There's Availity, there's all the other websites that you can go to that you can actually like put all their information in and you can get that information online. And while that is true, it is a little bit of a pain in the ass to have to go there for every single patient, log into their unique website, whether it be Availity or United Healthcare's website, and look up to see if they've hit their deductible or not. So from an AI standpoint, it would be nice if that all integrated together and somehow they could just take a picture of their insurance card or even if we had to type the numbers in ourselves that we would just know instantly yes this is how much you owe for the visit this is what your copay is going to be you ready to hit your deductible yes or no for 100 percent of the visits and the next step from that is when i'm there with a patient i don't have to guess and be like jardians this medication for diabetes is it going to be 800 dollars or 400 dollars a month or is it going to be 10 dollars a month it only works like 10 percent of the time right now that when i type that in it goes through this middleman called SureScripts, and it'll tell us yes or no that it's in in network with their insurance on their beneficiary plan, uh, that the PBM says that it's going to be $15 a month. I don't, I mean, I get that there's a lot of small players out there, but I don't understand why it doesn't work like every single time. It seems like the database should just work. I hope AI and tech can make this all seamlessly work together, but it's such a broken process. The next step beyond that would be then imaging orders and blood work. Okay, cool. I'm ordering this. Let me see if it's covered right away. Are all these blood tests not going to be covered? And if not, how much are they going to be for you? Oh, that MRI that we wanted at your back? Oh, here you go. It's going to be $400 at this location. It's going to be $450 at that location. Oh, but with your insurance, it's 75 bucks at this location. Why don't we just order it at that location? And I know that this is not necessarily AI, but there's got to be a way to code this in there to source control this to say like you know what we already ran your insurance with all these plans and this is going to give you the best offer unfortunately we're kind of a long way away from that and it's it only works like 10 to 15 percent of the time for medications and that i think would improve patient reliability and getting things done if the surprise is not there of showing up to the pharmacy and being like hey this medication's 400 dollars and or oh that mri is 200 dollars okay let me budget that and then i can get that done maybe two months from now all right, the next thing that I hope artificial intelligence can help bring us is patient engagement. I would love it in my ideal world if a patient texted in and was like, hey, I need a refill on my singular and allergy medication. It would be awesome if we could put rules in to the portal that would say, hey, for these specific meds, if they haven't been seen in over 12 months or you put some basically like if this then kind of statements. So if they've been seen in less than 12 months and maybe if they've never had any other issues with the medication, of course, like if they've refilled it on time, then sure, just refill it for them. I mean, there's some meds like, for example, uh, hydrocodone, a controlled substance, right? You're going to not put that in there in that category of like patient request it and you're just going to automatically refill it. But the medications were like some of these Medicare plans will cover Flonase, you know, a nasal steroid that's over the counter. What a waste of time for everyone involved for a patient to have to sit there, either call in, message in through the portal, can I please get my Flonase refilled? And then my nurse has to triage those things. And then of course, he or she will refill them. 
but it just takes time. It's unnecessary. Why can't we put a rule in our system that says for Flonase, we don't give a shit. You can refill that as many times as you want for Flonase. We don't care. Um, if your insurance is going to pay for it and you need a prescription through us, just message in through the portal and boom, we can have a rule that it'll just send it right to your pharmacy. I think that would save a lot of time, especially for patients that even, for example, um, I know this couldn't happen because we have to put in a two-factor authorization, but those patients that have been on Adderall for like 15 years, it's so annoying for them and for me to be like, hey, can you change this pharmacy? Can you do that? In a perfect world for those like patients that have been on it forever, they've never filled it early, they have no red flag suspicions. Oh my God, why can't they just be like, hey, especially with this Adderall shortage, why can't they just freaking message in, send, switch it from this one to that one, and there's some kind of automatic rule that can we, we can just make that happen. I know for controlled substances, it's probably going way too far, and I get that, and it would be a very rare circumstance for controlled substances. <clears throat> but... Again, for the flonases, for the singulars, for these otherwise like the omeprazoles, the anti-acids, why can't we just have an automated rule that AI could just somehow like do this and we could just all refill it and move on with our lives? I would say probably 10% of our phone calls are these uh, low-level refills of stuff like, can you refill my flonase? Of course we can. It's just taking up time away from doing other more significant things. That would be wonderful if that, that could happen. I know that's a long way away, but that would be great if we could make that automated. All right, the third thing is, of course, charting. This one I have a love-hate kind of relationship with because when I say charting, now we have something called macros. And some people call it dot phrases. Basically, you can put like dot PE and then hit enter. And in our medical record, it'll pop up whatever predetermined like physical exam that I put in there is like my dot phrase. I know Epic has it, our EMR has it, lots of other EMRs have it. And it's really decreased the amount of documentation time. The average time I spend documenting on a patient's chart right now is probably a minute and a half, two minutes. That's after the patient visit. That doesn't include like the little typing that I'm doing with the patient during the visit. That's probably another like two or three minutes on top of that. So I think way back in the day, like when I was in residency and I had to type everything out and they didn't want to pay for dictation and I couldn't dictate. Yeah, AI and like charting would be amazing. But I tell you what, I'll, I've tried some of these dictation softwares where you put it in there and they listen to your entire visit and it'll print it out and it is kind of neat. But many of them you have to copy and paste it from whatever their software is at on their website into your note. That defeats the purpose of the seamlessness in my opinion. And then I looked at this Dragon X, I believe is what it's called, the new Dragon AI where they're supposed to listen to your entire conversation and put it directly into your note. Oh my God, it's terrible. It's like version 0 0.1. It's not ready for release. The entire subject of the HPI just ends up being a bunch of word vomit on everything that you guys have talked about that is not helpful and oftentimes is like two pages long. And then the entire plan is borderline unreadable. It's just basically, for example, like the one that I saw from a rheumatologist here in town was rheumatoid arthritis, and then under the plan, it was basically checking x-rays, rechecking labs, see above, uh, follow up with me in three months. And then it had a bunch of gibberish on like plan for the nursing order in two months and all these like useless things that were not helpful. Patient will go to Quest Laboratories informed and given a printout of all these things on where to go for Quest Laboratories. I don't care about that. I know that's important, but oh my God, it was just so much fluff that it was a huge step backwards. So I think in an ideal world, AI would work seamlessly. I would just put it in the room. It would listen to the conversation and print it out. The problem is, though, is the way that I want my note is sometimes totally different than the other doctors want their note. And I think that's going to be a huge barrier for a lot of people. The other barrier is for us right now, the Dragon X or whatever, this AI thing, just to start it up, they wanted $10,000 just to start it up. And then I think they told me it was something like $2,000 a month per provider after that. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, right now for our dictation software, we pay 70 bucks a month. Um, and I spend a minute and a half documenting on the little dictation thing. Um, so I think charting, there's there's a little bit of room for growth, but I think because of dot phrases and I think because of dictation software, I think that the AI and the whole charting thing through AI, I, I don't know. I think that's going to be a huge barrier to like overcome of... I don't really need it. I don't need a $10,000, you know, thing that's just going to word vomit the entire visit in there. 
Um, I think it's got a long way to go. And especially the plan that spit out for me from this rheumatologist's office, it was junk. It was basically unreadable. All right, and then the final thing that I, I hope AI can do is we'll call it the administrative task or the bloat task. You know, for example, if I need a referral to be sent to a certain insurance company or something like that, it'd be nice if I could not only message that and say, okay, I'm going to send this off to pain management, but if there was a way to click a button that would automatically say like, yep, send the referral to Blue Cross Blue Shield HMO, I'm sending it to Dr. So-and-so, and it would be nice that I didn't have to message my employees to say, go to the Blue Cross website and ask them for permission to go to this freaking pain management that I was going to send the patient to anyway. I have to employ this person to do the dirty work, and meanwhile, the HMOs pay us less. The insurance companies win, and everyone else, especially the patients, lose. So I think the administrative tasks, the little menial tasks like this, or requesting medical records or other things, it would be just seamlessly happening. And I know there's care everywhere in Epic, but if you don't have Epic, it doesn't work. You know, HCA, they have a system where they try to give us their notes and other things. It's junk. The notes we get are basically like, yep, they were started on a new antiplatelet medication. Let's say Plavix. I have no idea. Did they have a stroke? Did they have a heart attack? Did they have a stent put in? I don't have any of that information. All I know is that they were started on Plavix. Um, and it just makes it honestly slightly helpful, but a little bit more confusing because sometimes they come out with a bunch of medications that they don't even need, like some oral potassium supplements. And I tell them like, oh, are you taking this? And they're like, no, nah, I was using that in the hospital. I'm not taking that anymore. So the medication reconciliation wasn't done appropriately. I think the administrative task, I think that would be wonderful if that could happen. But the biggest thing that I would love as a physician who owns my own practice is that patient experience. I think if AI could make it so that you could text in, I want an appointment at three o'clock, boom, books a visit. I want a refill of my Flonase, boom, done. You don't have to wait on anything. And we could have it so that it also automatically says like, I want a refill on my Losartan, high blood pressure medicine. We could have a rule in there that says, oh, you haven't been seen in more than 12 months. Hey, we've given you an automatic 30 day supply. You need to book an appointment within 30 days. Boom, here's all the appointment blocks. Which time do you want to come in to see us? That way we can come and see you. And that way you have 30 days to get that done. Rather than patient calling in, my nurse calling them back, telling them, we'll give you 30 days, do you want to book an appointment? And then having to go through, well, what days work for you? What times work for you? You know, in the back of your mind, you just want to be like, just go to our website, dude. It's on our website. You can see the schedule. But of course, you got them on the phone. You want to make it as seamless as possible. But it would be so much more seamless if it could just text them that information. I think that would make the next AI and integration amazing. I know that charting is the hot topic right now. I don't care about charting. That's just me. And to put it in perspective, all the other providers in my clinic, I bought them the Dragon Dictation. They use dot phrases so much, they don't even use a freaking dictation software anymore. They're all just using dot phrases. What do you guys think? Where's AI headed for healthcare in the future? I personally think it's gonna be more that patient experience, patient touch, rather than anything else. Um, but what are your predictions on AI? What would you like to see? All right, talk to you guys next time. See y'all later.